Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be my Bath & Body Works candle collection video. I saw Leah Janae do this video, and I was totally inspired by her. I will have her video linked down below in the description box, so shout out to Leah for this idea. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so I have all of my Bath & Body Works candles sitting next to me. We are going Going to start off with the few that I have burned so these are ones that I am currently burning or I'm kind of rotating through and then we will move on to the rest of my candles which are basically just a stockpile of Bath & Body Works candles I counted them up I think I have 20 candles to show you guys today if you would want to see all of my candles like all of my other brands let me know in the comments, um, but today's video is just going to be Bath & Body Works. So the first candle that I have to show you guys is this one here. This one is Fresh Orange. I love this candle. This is my first time burning it. We have this in our hallway bathroom right now, and it smells so good. The notes on here are fresh grated orange zest, sparkling citrus, and white jasmine. I definitely would say this is heavier on the fruity scent. There is a little bit of a floral note to it, but I'm not a huge fan of florals. I love citrusy orange type scents, and this one is really, really nice. I would totally buy this again. My candle knowledge is not the greatest as far as Bath & Body Works goes, so I don't know what is available, what was limited edition, what's been discontinued, and things like that, but I do think that I got this one... I don't know, not too long ago. None of my Bath & Body Works candles are super old. I would say none of them are older than 2020. So I've gotten them within the last like two and a half years. Also, in case you were curious, it does have orange wax, which I think is so cool. I love the way that this candle looks and smells. It's so yummy. The next candle that we are currently burning is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. This one smells so delicious. It smells like a yummy juice or like drink. Very, very fruity. I think this smells absolutely incredible. The notes are tropical passion fruit, radiant kiwi, and juicy pineapple. I bought this because my boyfriend's gamer tag is split kiwi, and so anytime I see something with a kiwi on it, I'm like, oh my god, I need to buy it. But it smells so freaking good. Um, I totally would buy this candle again. We just started burning it today, and it's our first time burning it. Um, but yeah, this is delicious. The packaging is super, super cute, and I would absolutely recommend this candle. This next candle is probably my favorite Bath & Body Works candle to ever exist. This is Sunwashed Citrus. This candle is magical. If you guys like Volcano from Capri Blue, you need to buy this candle. It smells practically identical. The packaging is so cute. I have the hand wash in this scent as well. I literally wish I could smell like this 24-7 because if I could, I would. I love the way this smells. I just started burning this today and oh my god, this is my last one. It smells absolutely incredible. It just has regular white wax, but it's so freaking good. The notes are... Sorrento lemons, citron, and agave nectar. Oh my god, it's amazing. I literally cannot say enough good things about this. I know the Bath & Body Works sale, the semi-annual sale is coming up. I don't ever shop the summer one <laughs> because I usually kind of go crazy in December and then I'm like good for the rest of the year. I don't know that that is a scent that would be on sale, but I'm definitely going to be checking because if it's on sale, you already know I'm going to buy like 10 of those. Like, it is incredible, and I'm like hesitant to share my love for this because I don't want other people to buy it because I want to buy all of them. So <laughs> that one is amazing, and I would absolutely recommend it, and I will continue to buy that candle for as long as it's available. I just looked it up to see if it was even still available on their website, and it looks like it is. Here's what the candle jar looks like. I gotta say, I'm not in love with it. I think it's really pretty. 
Like, I think it's beautiful, but it's definitely not so much my aesthetic, <laughs> like this one. Um, but I would still buy it. Even if it was, like, the ugliest candle jar, I would still buy it because it smells so good. I think this next one might be my oldest candle. Um, I'm not too sure. Actually, let me check. I was watching Leah Janae's video, and she said that on the batch code right here. Um, if it starts with a 9, I think that means it was from 2019. So I think this one might be my oldest one, actually. I'm gonna check from now on. I'm gonna check these ones down here just because I'm curious, but this one might be my oldest one. This is a, like, wintertime candle. I think the jar is so pretty. I love the little holographic effect. I love the light, kind of creamy colored wax. This smells really good. Um, it's a pretty simple vanilla fragrance. The notes on this one are frozen vanilla, iced fir needles, mint leaf, and coconut flakes. I feel like if I smell it, it kind of smells, well, it smells a little bit toasty because of the burning element, but um, I feel like it's vanilla and maybe a little bit of coconut in there, but I don't really smell like fur or mint. But it's just like a creamy vanilla scent, nothing too obscure. You could definitely burn this with other candles and it wouldn't clash. So yeah, that's a really good one and I would purchase it again. I have other ones that I like more, but I love vanilla. I love citrus, I love vanilla, um, fruity scents, and that's like my main. Those are like my main go-tos. Anything like super sweet cotton candy love that type of thing. So I believe my orange candle is from 2020. The Aloha Kiwi is from 2020. And the Sun Washed Citrus is also from 2020. And then the last candle that I have that I have burned is another holiday one. This one is Caramel Drizzle or Caramel Drizzle. You guys, I didn't know what I was missing like uh, this candle this one is like I would say my favorite holiday candle now um, this was my first time purchasing it first time burning it um, I'm almost done with it actually like it's literally almost gone um, but it smells so freaking good like I just opened it and it's very strong the scent throw is incredible and I need this to come back like I'm scared I don't know if this is a new scent from last year or what but I did buy this in December and you can see it says the number here starts with a one so I guess it was made in 2021 also candles were $25.50 last year they're $26.50 this year <laughs> why every single year they go up a dollar um I also never buy candles full price from Bath and Body Works uh but anyway this one incredible i would buy 20 million of them they are this just smells amazing it's like a maple dream the notes are sugar cane crystals melted butter whisked sweet cream those are the three notes but i would describe this as like a sweet creamy maple like a maple icing my dad's favorite cake is spice cake with maple frosting or maple icing and he's had that ever since he was a kid. Let me know if anyone else has ever heard of that or had that in their life because I have never heard of it anywhere else besides my dad. So that's what he's like had, like that's been his favorite since he was a kid. And this just, it reminds me of spice cake with maple frosting because it's warm and mapley and sweet and sugary and burning this smells like you're baking a spice cake in the oven with you know, some maple frosting mixing in the the mixer. <laughs> it just smells so good and it makes me want a piece of spice cake. So, um, yeah, this is incredible. Again, don't buy it because I need to buy them, <laughs> but it's so good. So yeah, those are the five that I have that are already like in use. The rest of them are all brand new and I would say well definitely most of them are Christmas scents because I purchased them during candle day in December so we still have a lot of Christmassy scents I have a few non Christmas ones so we'll start with those the next candle that I have to show you guys is raspberry tangerine the packaging on this candle is so beautiful 
I absolutely love it. The notes on this candle are wild raspberries, fresh tangerine, and lemon zest. It looks like this one is from 2020, and I just, I love the aesthetic of this candle, and it smells amazing. It just has regular non-colored wax. It's super fruity. You definitely get that tangerine. Um, I can also smell the raspberry, but it's just like a citrusy, fruity scent. It smells like a popsicle. It's absolutely delicious. Next, we have Island Margarita. This is an amazing smelling candle. It is neon green, which I love. The notes on this one are sweet mandarin, island mango, and sea salt. This one is also from 2020. It looks so cute and it smells so good. It has non-colored wax. Oh my god, it's just so fruity and delicious. It smells like a yummy drink, which I guess makes sense because it's Island Margarita. Um, but yeah, you can definitely smell the mango, definitely smell the pineapple. It's just so delicious. Again, very like popsicle vibes or like frozen drink vibes. Next we have Mango Mai Tai named after another drink, I think. <laughs> um, I don't really drink cocktails, so I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that this is some sort of cocktail. And I bought it because it has mango in it. I love the scent of mango. Jarvis loves the scent of mango. It's a fruity scent. The notes in here are fresh mango nectar, exotic jasmine, and sun-kissed grapefruit. So the jar is so cute. It's kind of like an orange frosted glass. The wax just looks like this. And this one smells like mango. I can definitely smell the jasmine in this one, but I don't really smell grapefruit. I am not a fan of grapefruit. Like I actually hate the scent of like most grapefruit products. Like, ew. <laughs> For some reason it just smells like, like body odor to me. I don't know what it is, but grapefruit does not like me like I hate the scent of it um, I also am not a fan of the taste either but I don't really smell grapefruit in there there's a few products that I have that have grapefruit in them and like I wouldn't even know those are the ones that I like because you like can't smell the grapefruit but typically I don't like grapefruit which sucks because it's a citrus and it's pink so usually those are like the cute candles um but yeah unfortunately not a fan of grapefruit that one smells really good it's not as fruity and like popsicle-y as these two but it still has that mango and I would say it's more like more of like a tropical scent as opposed to just like a straight fruity scent next we have strawberry pound cake these candles are really heavy they're way heavier than the ones that i have burned <laughs> um but this one is so cute i absolutely love the way that this one looks this one is from 2021 and the notes on here are fresh strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream i i feel like i kind of go back and forth on like dessert type fragrances like sometimes i love them and sometimes i hate them this one i love I love that it has a light pink wax. I think that just makes it so fun. Um, and it really smells like strawberry pound cake or like just like strawberry cake. It smells delicious. It does have that kind of cakey smell. So if you're not a fan, I think gourmand might be the word. I'm not the best at describing fragrances if you couldn't tell. Um, but it does have a little bit of that desserty, cakey type smell. But in a really good way like I love that one and I don't love all gourmand type scents at least I don't think but I really I don't know I just love things that smell good <laughs> so anyway uh now we're gonna move on to my holiday slash winter fragrances because I think that's all that I have left and like I said a majority of them are winter slash holiday so the first one that I have here is Palo Santo. This one is so cute and I actually purchased a couple of these. These are from 2021. The notes are Palo Santo wood, warm amber, and soft musk. This one is very different from any of the ones that I've shown you. This one is very um, like incense-y, <laughs> very natural kind of like smoky scent. 
The packaging is 10 out of 10, and this is actually my second one. So this is uh, one that I have not burned, but I have gone through one of these, and I love the way that this candle smells. It's, again, it's very different. I kind of have to be in the mood for it, but it's really nice if you like a more smoky, kind of natural scent. It really just reminds me of incense, and I know that um, you can burn Palo Santo as, like, an incense type thing um so yeah it smells really really good but i could definitely say that that's not going to be one that everybody loves but it does smell great when you burn it and i would absolutely purchase that one again so far i would buy all of these again except for man maybe mango mai tai i feel like that's the only one that i'm just kind of like i really like it but i probably wouldn't buy it again like i would rather buy island margarita or raspberry tangerine or aloha kiwi or sun wash citrus over mango mai tai also this one is from 2020 i don't remember if i said that or not but there we have that next let's see what do i where, where do i go next um i guess we can do pink fairy gumdrop <laughs> this one is one that i love i love that it has pink wax it's super cute definitely fits my aesthetic the notes on this one are sparkling sugared berries pink cotton candy and sprinkle of fairy dust this one is from 2019 so this is one of my older candles um this is one that not everybody is gonna love you're only gonna like this if you like super sugary sweet bubblegum cotton candy type scents um but if you do like those you will love this i have gone through several of these candles and this is actually my last one Oh, it smells so good. It smells like cotton candy bubblegum. I love it so much. And of course, I would totally repurchase that one. Next, we have Twisted Peppermint. This one is, I feel like, a classic. I love the jar on this particular Twisted Peppermint. It is so cute. I love the pink wax. I love all of the candies. Um, the notes on here are cool peppermint, sugared snow, and vanilla buttercream with some fresh balsam and a hint of musk. Wow, that's a lot of notes. Um, oh my gosh, this one's from 2018. That's crazy. This is the oldest candle in my collection. <laughs> Four years old. Um, but yeah, this one is amazing. I would totally buy this again. I don't know if they still make it. It's very minty. Smells like a candy cane, um, it, but a little bit sweet. I feel like this one is sweeter than the next one I'm going to show you, which is crushed candy cane. This one has more of a cooling, like minty scent to it. It's so cute. I love this one as well, but the Twisted Peppermint, just it's sweeter. It's creamier. So I think I prefer Twisted Peppermint over crushed candy cane even though they both smell amazing and i would totally burn both of them um i think twisted peppermint is my favorite the notes on this one are crunchy peppermint white sugar crystals and frosted mint leaf and this one is from 2020. i had to switch my camera battery so i moved my camera angle a little bit just to kind of center things a little bit better um but I do have another one of these uh, crushed candy cane candles, um, again from 2020. Both of those are so cute. Love that they're pink. Um, but yeah. Next we have another pink candle. This is my last pink one. And this one is a classic. I feel like you already know. Everyone has one of these. I think Leah said the same thing in her video. <laughs> um, this is Champagne Toast. I love Champagne Toast. This is a, a classic candle that I have bought for years and years. It smells so good. This one is absolutely stunning. I love the label. I love that it's pink. I love that it has pink wax. The notes on this one, if you are unfamiliar, are bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. It just smells really good. It is on the fruitier side. I feel like it it's maybe smells like champagne, but not in a I don't know when I think of champagne I don't love the taste of champagne so I feel like I more so smell like the berries and tangerine in this maybe with a little bit of that like crisp like the crispness from champagne but it doesn't I don't know I feel like I don't associate champagne with a good smell or taste 
<laughs> but this candle is amazing. Um, and this one is from 2021. So that one's not super old. Um, like I said, most of my candles are purchased either last year or the year before. I had like one really old one, but um, other than that, I do burn through my candles and I do rotate them pretty often and I love buying them. I feel like it's super fun to just have like a ton of options when it's time to burn candles and we love burning candles here. So <laughs> um, moving on to our last five candles, we have this one here, which is actually um, another kind of champagne-y scent. This one is cotton candy champagne. So this is one that I wanted to purchase last year. Like I knew ahead of time that I was gonna buy this one. I wish it looked cuter. I don't know if there were different variations of this, but cotton candy champagne sounds amazing. So the notes in this one are bubbly rosé, sweet strawberry, and pink sugar. This one just has like the regular colored wax. And this one I feel like more so smells like champagne than champagne toast does. Like it has a little bit more of that, that like crisp, champagne scent. I, I, I don't know how else to describe it. I feel like I smell strawberry. Oh yeah, sweet strawberry. I don't really smell pink sugar. I feel like this just smells kind of like a, a strawberry champagne, which it does smell good, but it didn't smell as good as I hoped it was going to. Like I would 10 times recommend champagne toast over this one. Um, but I am excited to burn this and I wish it had a cuter jar, but it's fine. I mean, it's cute. It's really cute. It's a gorgeous jar, honestly, but I just wish it was like pink or, um, like neutral because that's just typically what I go for. Next we have the perfect Christmas. Also, this one I think is from last year. Yeah, this one's from 2021. That's a newer fragrance, I believe. Like I think this scent is new. Then we have the perfect Christmas also from 2021 this is in a bright red jar this one smells so good the notes are fresh cut pine cinnamon sugar and toasted marshmallow when i smell this i think of christmas i can smell a christmas tree i can smell the marshmallow sweetness like you're drinking some hot cocoa and i can also smell the cinnamon like you have some cinnamon sticks somewhere, like some potpourri. <laughs> I just think this smells so good. I can identify each note that is listed so clearly, which I feel like isn't super common. Um, but if I think about it, I can smell each individual thing and they all go so well together and I just feel like it smells like Christmas. So this one is amazing. I would totally buy that again. I actually haven't ever burned one of those though. So um, I don't know about like the scent throw and stuff, but I can only imagine that it smells great. Next we have Holiday. This one is, I feel like another classic. This one is from 2021 and the notes are red cinnamon stick, Christmas clove buds, and ground nutmeg. This one is a spicy one. I feel like not everyone loves spicy fragrances. I love spicy fragrances. Like, I love cinnamon, I love clove, I love nutmeg, and this is all three of those. Whew, it's a little bit overwhelming when you sniff it up close. <laughs> definitely a stronger one, definitely one that I would not burn any time other than, like, November, December. Like, I feel like it's gonna have to be, like, winter for me to burn that, even though it's, like, 85 degrees in December here. <laughs> um... It's a really, really delicious one, but I feel like I'd have to be in the mood. Like, I could totally burn Love Cotton Candy Champagne or Champagne Toast or even, like, the minty ones. I would burn other times of year. This one I would burn any time of year. This one as well. But these two, I feel like those two have to be saved for actual Christmas time. <laughs> and then the last two candles that I have to show you guys are the same scent. They're just different packaging. So um, this one actually, Holiday, is from 2021. The next candle, well, the next two candles, my final two are 
Fresh Balsam, which again is a classic. This one smells so freaking good. If you like balsam or like, you know, Christmassy tree type smells, you'll love this candle. This one has notes of woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, and cedar wood. It's very Christmas tree vibes. It literally smells like a Christmas tree. So if you don't like that, you will not like this candle. But if you do, it, it this this right here, you need to buy it. It smells like a fresh Christmas tree, like a real Christmas tree, you know, that you just brought inside and starting to add fragrance to the air. It's just, it's delicious. And then my last one is from 2020. And I think the notes are the exact same. Yeah, they should be. But um, here's what this one looks like. It's like a light sagey green color, which I think is so beautiful. I actually prefer this packaging over the 2021 packaging. But I love both of them. And I will go ahead and read the notes again just because I don't remember if, if they're the same exactly. I feel like sometimes they change things. But this one says woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, and cedar wood. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same. So those are all of my candles. Also, this one has like a light green wax to it. Those are all of my candles. Well, no, all of my Bath and Body Works candles. That is my Bath and Body Works candle collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys want to see my entire candle collection. I have plenty of other candles to show you guys. I love candles. I love fragrance. And um, I don't know. I thought this was a super fun video to film. So shout out again to Leah for the idea. Um, her video will be linked down below, like I said. So definitely go check hers out. She has a way larger collection than I do. And so many more fragrances. Her recommendations I feel like are amazing and um, yeah I'm so glad she posted her candle collection because it inspired me to do mine and also got me excited for the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale which I think starts June 11th so keep your eyes out for the sale and yeah that's gonna be it I hope you all enjoyed I think I already said that but if I didn't, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!